Hello, everyone. So processing untrusted inputs is something that uh, every application has to do at some point. And so um, it is something that is very hard to get right, if not perfect. Uh, any failure to do it right may, need to, may lead to security vulnerabilities. And so when I got tasked with uh, writing a C++ backend that has to serve an HTTP REST API, uh, I figured I'm going to screw up at some point or some time. And so I decided to equip myself with the right tools in order to be able to solve this problem without having as many pitfalls. So those tools, I decided to design them this way. First, I want to deny myself direct access to the input. This way, I'm going to have to enumerate all the inputs that I'm interested in with a declarative style. This way, I'm disclosing both the source of every input that I want to extract and the way I want to validate it. It becomes impossible to forget to validate. So the last step is implementing a generic solution that does the heavy lifting uh, before a request can be handled. So here's how it can look like from the, user, uh, the client side. So here we have two different types that are used to describe two different inputs. Those two inputs happen to be of a user-defined type called customer information. So the first input is going to be extracted from the header of the HTTP request call client. And so we expect this input to be formatted or structured as JSON. Our second input is actually going to be extracted from the body of the HTTP request, and we expect this one to be structured as a query string. So now that we have those two type tests, we can supply them to a generic request handler so that we also supply it our Lambda that is going to be implementing our business domain load logic. And so this Lambda is only ever going to get invoked if every single one of the inputs is successfully validated. Now, in this example, we receive the uh, inputs as parameters to that Lambda, and the implementation is actually really simple. We're just simply logging the inputs we received. So in order to be uh, instantiating that generic request handler, we're going to look like at how it may look like. So this version is a bit simplified compared to the real proof of concept, but it's going to help us walk through the steps. So first step is actually using the input descriptions we have provided earlier in order to extract raw data from our HTTP request object. Then once every single input has been successfully extracted and no one of them is missing, we can proceed on to validation. Every single input is now validated according to the types for every input. So we want to validate customer info, user defined types here. Once every single validation step is working, then we can proceed to invoking the Lambda with the inputs we receive, because we now know that we can safely execute our business logic. If anything in that chain of uh, events is failing, then we need to respond with a bad request. So in order for this uh, generic request handler to work successfully, we have to build on another block, which is generic validation. So for generic validation to work, uh, here is a function template that is going to serve as our generic validator. We assume a strong semantic type so that we can actually uh, take raw input and validate it with a single validation implementation for that type. If validation is successful, we can return uh, an instance of the object. And in the, in the other event, we're simply going to return a disengage optional. So this serves as an extension point so that we can specialize that template for any user-defined type. This way, our customer info information can be validated the right way. Now, the steps here are the same. We simply uh, test if the validation logic is successful. And once that's the case, we return an, an instance. So while preparing this presentation, I realized, well, I did a proof of concept that works for HTTP requests, but there's no reason we could generalize a bit more for any tainted inputs, really. So you could imagine validating inputs to the main function this way, or even uh, stuff you're reading from a syscall. So, my name is Gabriel Aubelussier, and if you're interested in discussing those, those ideas in the hallways, feel free to uh, talk to me. You can also uh, test the uh, implementation from my GitHub repo with the link over here. So thank you for your time, everyone.